Alexandra, it means Maurice Watson Jr. is a free man walking away this afternoon with no jail time and back toward the basketball court. The defense team says that's thanks to their investigation that revealed some red flags about the accuser's story. This moment being called the first breath of fresh air Watson's family has gotten in months. I'm really happy that this day is over and you know, I can get back to, you know, focusing on my career. In a whirlwind of a hearing scheduled just days ago, a judge drops Maurice Watson Jr.'s sex assault charge against a Creighton student and finds him guilty of misdemeanor assault against a separate person. The accuser's case alleging rape dissolving. It's clear from the investigations that we did that this was not a, a case that, that should have been prosecuted. For Watson and his family, it means relief. You know, we prayed long days and nights for this and we, we put up with a lot and I was happy for them as much as I was happy for myself. The former Creighton basketball star speaking out for the first time. This is the worst type of person in the world to me that they were trying to make me out to be. Watson saying he now wants to finish his degree at Creighton, which suspended him when the charges were announced. And I promised my mom a degree. I came back to school for a fifth year to get that degree. So that's my plan to get that degree from Creighton. While the defense wouldn't elaborate on what they uncovered, Watson's parents say they hope this case is an example for future investigations to get it right the first time. And that's the message to any entity that was involved in this case. Please do your due diligence all the way through. The next step for Watson and his family, making amends with Creighton University. His defense team says they plan on that happening very soon. Reporting live outside of the CenturyLink Center, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.